children this is ipshita gangopadhyay teacher from trinity international school students we have already started with our new chapter that is linear equation in one variable we have already completed with the topic about what is equation what is linear equation and what is linear equation in one variable then we have already uh, learnt about how to write the statement for the given algebraic form then we have learnt about the properties of equation and also we have uh, done the uh, problems of transposition of terms isn't it so how we can uh, change the places in the equation that is when uh, the uh, addition uh, digit is there then what if we are going to uh, transpose or where if we are going to uh, change the position of that term to other side then we are going to change the sign so all these things we have already done then we have also done about solving the linear equations along with that we have also Uh, attempted the problems of verification of the solutions so all these things we have already completed in our exercise 13.1 now we will go for exercise 13.2 which has the problems that is word problems on linear equations so we will just see how we can proceed to solve the word problems based on linear equations so whenever you have to solve the word problems you need to read your questions very carefully so that you can form the algebraic expression and after forming the algebraic expression you can easily solve it to get the solution okay so let us see one example which is given on page number 135 where you have the first example see a number when decreased by 12 gives 30 find the number so as you know that whenever this type of word problems are given you have to first take the number as x so see let the required number be x now you have to read the problem properly aapko theek tarah se question ko padhna hai to aap dekhiye yahan par kaise likha hai let the required number is x so we have to take the number as x then a number when decreased by 12 decrease matlab kya ho gaya aapka subtraction so now see how the required uh, equation you can form so x minus 12 gives 30 is equal to 30 so your required algebraic form is um, formed and then you can solve this and you can get the required number whatever is your answer okay so this is how you have to form the algebraic expression aapko jo linear equation hai wo aapko form karna hai uske baad aapko solution nikalna hai to iske liye aapko jo question diya jata hai usko aapko bahut hi carefully रीड करना पड़ेगा ओके सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ एक्सरसाइज थर्टीन पॉइंट टू एंड वी विल डू द वर्ड प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन दिस एक्सरसाइज so again i am reminding you that while doing this exercise you have to read the questions carefully aap theek tarah se read nahi karoge to aapka algebraic expression form karna galat ho jayega okay so uh, first you have to read the question properly so that you can form a correct expression okay so let us first start with our uh, first question on exercise 13.2 so see here If thirteen is added to a number, the sum is thirty-two. Find the number. So here you have to write all the statements that is required. So let us start writing. 
सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन में आप देख सकते हो लेट द रिक्वायर्ड नंबर बी एक्स एंड एज द रिक्वायर्ड नंबर इज एडेड बाई थर्टीन एंड गिव्स थर्टी टू सो वॉट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन फॉर्म द स्टेटमेंट लाइक दिस तो देखिए इस तरह से आप जो लीनियर इक्वेशन है वो फॉर्म कर सकते हो अब आपको पता है हम कैसे प्रोसीड करते हैं वी हैव टू टेक दिस थिंग टू योर राइट हैंड साइड द नंबर थर्टीन इज टेकन टू योर राइट हैंड साइड एंड यू नीड टू सब्रैक्ट इट नाउ सब्रैक्ट दिस एंड यू आर गेटिंग एक्स इज इक्वल टू नाइनटीन दस द रिक्वायर्ड नंबर इज नाइनटीन सो दिस इज हाउ यू हैव टू सॉल्व द वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन लीनियर इक्वेशन नाउ लेट एस मूव टू सेकेंड वन Now second question is the sum of three consecutive numbers is fifty four. Find the numbers. So you uh, have to find out three numbers. So consecutive मतलब क्या होता है consecutive number मतलब एक के बाद एक जैसे one two three is a consecutive number two three four is a consecutive number. But if you write one three five they are not consecutive number because वो एक के बाद एक नहीं आता है ठीक है so ऐसे ऐसे numbers को आपको find out करना है जो कि consecutive numbers है जो एक के बाद एक आता है ठीक है so let us first uh, take the numbers required numbers अब देखिए सेकेंड क्वेश्चन में यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द नंबर्स थ्री कॉन्जिक्यूटिव नंबर्स ओके तो देखिए मैंने क्या ले लिया है लेट द रिक्वायर्ड नंबर्स बी एक्स देन एक्स प्लस वन एक्स प्लस टू हमेशा जब भी कॉन्जिक्यूटिव नंबर बोलेंगे तो एक के बाद एक नंबर आपको लेना है सो यू आर गोइंग टू राइट एक्स x प्लस वन एक्स प्लस टू सो यहाँ पर आप ये वर्ड भी एड कर दीजिए कॉन्जिक्यूटिव ओके सो ये वर्ड भी आप एड कर दीजिए रिक्वायर्ड कॉन्जिक्यूटिव नंबर्स बी ओके सो एक्स एक्स प्लस वन एक्स प्लस टू नाउ एज द सम ऑफ रिक्वायर्ड नंबर इज फिफ्टी फोर यू हैव बिन गिवन विद द रिक्वायर द सम ऑफ नंबर्स एज फिफ्टी फोर तो आप क्या करोगे सम मतलब क्या होता है तीनों को एड करना सो वी हैव एडेड अप दिस थ्री कॉन्जिक्यूटिव नंबर्स तो आप देख सकते हैं यहाँ पर मैंने तीनों नंबर्स को एड कर दिए हैं एंड देयर सम इज फिफ्टी फोर ना ये देखिए मैंने यहाँ पर एक एक ब्रैकेट डाला है बिकॉज दिस इज योर फर्स्ट नंबर दिस इज सेकेंड नंबर दिस इज थर्ड नंबर ना वॉट आई द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज आई हैव रिमूव द ब्रैकेट सो यू कैन सी यर we are getting the numbers as x plus x plus वन plus x plus टू so what I did here in the next step next step में मैंने जो भी like terms है देखिए यहाँ पर x है यहाँ पर x है और यहाँ पर x है तो कितने x हो गए थ्री एक्स और यहाँ पर वन और टू मतलब वन प्लस टू इज थ्री सो आई हैव एडेड अप ऑल द लाइक टर्म्स सो थ्री एक्स प्लस थ्री इज गिविंग यू फिफ्टी फोर नाउ दिस थिंग यू कैन सॉल्व so you can take this 3 to your right hand side and you change your sign over here and you are getting 51 then 3x is equal to 51 can be written as x is equal to 51 divided by 3 and this will give you x is equal to 17 so the required numbers are to kya kya numbers ho gaye x tha 17 x plus 1 is equal to 18 And x plus two is nineteen. So you can see seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. These are the three consecutive numbers. So you can write in the solution as therefore the three consecutive. So the statement you can write the three consecutive numbers are seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. Okay. So this is how you have to solve the word problem. तो इस तरह से आपको सम्स को सॉल्व करना है तो बहुत ही इजी है तो लेट अस मूव टू थर्ड वन नाउ सी द थर्ड क्वेश्चन वन थर्ड ऑफ ए नंबर व्हेन एडेड टू फाइव गिव सेवेंटीन फाइंड द नंबर वन थर्ड ऑफ ए नंबर सो अगेन यू हैव टू टेक लेट द नंबर बी एक्स ओके देन वन थर्ड ऑफ ए नंबर मीन्स वन बाई थ्री एक्स वेन एडेड टू फाइव प्लस फाइव विल गिव यू सेवेंटीन सो दिस इज हाउ यू हैव टू फॉर्म द लीनियर इक्वेशन
so see let the required number be x now according to condition what it is told that one third of so write down one third of the number when added to 5 will give you 70 so according to condition this is what you have to uh, form the equation one third of the number when added to 5 gives you 17 okay so according to condition you need to form this type of equation now let us solve this equation so one third x is equal to 17 minus 5 now see after solving here you are getting 12 then just cross multiply this two you are getting x is equal to 36 so the required number is 36 so this is your third question now a fourth question is if 99 is added to three times of a number it becomes 132 find the number now let the required number be x according to condition what was the condition given to you that if 99 is added to 3 times of a number so let us write 3 times of a number if 99 is added then it becomes 132 okay so this is uh, what your equation uh, tells you that 99 is added to 3 times of the number and it becomes 132. So, this is also the same uh, rule you have to follow. So, take 99 to your right hand side and go for your calculations. Now, see, after subtracting, you are getting 33 x is equal to 33 by 3 that you know x is equal to 11 so the required number is 11 so very easy if you uh, have got the correct equation then the solve solving of this problem is very easy okay so let us go for fifth one now let us read the fifth question raman subtracts 12 from a number and divides the difference by 7. If the quotient is 6 and there is no remainder, find the number. So, in this question, you have to be very careful in writing the equation. So, first is Raman subtracts 12 from a number and divides the difference by 7. Okay. If the question is 6 and there is no remainder, find the number. So, let us uh, take, uh, take out what we need to write in the statement. Now, question number 5. Let the number be x. Now, according to condition, Raman subtracts 12 from the number. So, we will just see. See, this is the number and his Raman subtract 12 from the number and divides the difference by 7. So, this is the difference and he is dividing the difference by 7 and he is getting the quotient as 6. So, this is the equation you are going to get. Okay, so according to condition, this is the equation you are going to get. So, let us... Uh, solve this so you can see this can be cross multiplied so as 6 7 is 42 so you now you can easily go for your transposition of 12 so here you are getting x is equal to 42 plus 12 which gives you 54 so therefore the required number is 54 so this is how you are going to solve this question question बहुत बड़ा लग रहा है लेकिन देखिए बहुत easy है है ना 
So this is how you have to solve the question number 5. Now your sixth problem is if a number is divided by 6, the quotient is 5 and the remainder is 3. Find the number. So you have been given with this formula. So you can put all the numbers over here in this formula and you can easily get the number. So here you can easily get the number. Let the number be x. So here x is written. Remainder is given 3. You can write it. Then divisor is your 6 and quotient is your 5. So you can easily form the equation. So you can do this. I will tell you a little bit about it. ठीक है मैं आपको बता देती हूँ तो देख लीजिए कैसे मैंने कर दिया है ये वाला क्वेश्चन तो ये वाला जो यहाँ पर जो आपको फॉर्मूला दिया गया है ऑलरेडी आपके हिंट में है सो देखिए नंबर के जगह मैंने एक्स लिख दिया है रिमेंडर यू ऑलरेडी हैव आपको दिया गया है रिमेंडर थ्री डिवाइजर भी आपको दिया गया है सिक्स एंड क्वेश्चन आल्सो यू हैव बीन गिवन विद फाइव सो इजीली यू कैन गो फॉर क्रॉस मल्टीप्लिकेशन हियर देन यू कैन चेंज द पोजीशन ऑफ थ्री सो क्रॉस मल्टीप्लिकेशन करने के बाद आपको यहाँ थर्टी मिलता है फिर इसको आप राइट हैंड साइड में थ्री लेकर आओगे तो आपको प्लस थ्री मिल जाता है एंड सो यू आर गेटिंग एक्स इज इक्वल टू थर्टी थ्री सो द रिक्वायर्ड नंबर इज थर्टी थ्री so very easy you just have to put the numbers according to your formula so let us move to question number seven question number seven the sum of two consecutive numbers is 43 taking the bigger number as x find the two numbers so let us write the statements now you have been already given with the bigger number so bigger number is x so the smaller number will be minus 1 isn't it so if bigger is x then the smaller number will be 1 less than the number so it will be x minus 1 therefore the two consecutive numbers are the smaller number then the bigger number now according to the condition the sum of two consecutive numbers so the numbers are x minus 1 and x so sum of these two consecutive numbers is 43 okay so now we can easily find out what is the number so let us remove this bracket and we can see here two like terms. So this becomes your 2x minus 1 is equal to 43. So now you can solve the equation. So here you are getting 2x minus 1 is equal to 43. 1 can be uh, brought to your right hand side and this gives you 44. So x becomes your 22. Therefore the numbers will be. So the bigger number x is 22 and the smaller number x minus 1 is 21. So the two consecutive numbers are 21 and 22. So this is how you have to solve the uh, question number 7. Question number 8. A girl uh, is 6 years younger than her friend. If the sum of their ages is 34 years, find the age of the girl. So you have been given with the uh, conditions and you have to find the age of girl. So a girl and her friend is there and her friend is 6 years younger. Matlab chota, uski friend us ladki se 6 saal ki choti hai. तो हमको उस गर्ल का एज फाइंड आउट करना है ओके सो लेट द एज ऑफ द गर्ल बी एक्स नाउ सी वी हैव रिटर्न द स्टेटमेंट लेट द एज ऑफ गर्ल बी एक्स नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू कंडीशन हर फ्रेंड उसकी जो फ्रेंड है वो उससे 6 इयर्स की बड़ी है ओके okay? फ्रेंड बड़ी है गर्ल नहीं 
so you can uh, say that according to condition the age of the uh, friend is x plus 6 okay so age of the friend kya hoga x plus 6 so you can add one st uh, statement here also you can see the let the age of girl be x then the age of friend is x plus 6 friend usse say 6 years ki badi hai now according to conditions the sum of their ages is equal to 34 so we have uh, taken this to uh, and we did the sum as 34 now you can solve it so this becomes your 2x 34 minus 6 x is equal to 28 upon 2 and x gives you 14 so age of the girl is 14 years now see the ninth question a woman is 29 years old than her daughter if the sum of their ages is 63 years find their ages so a woman is 29 years older than her daughter so you can take the age of daughter as x and the woman age as x plus 29 if the ages of their ages is 63 years find their ages so aap ye aram se likh sakte ho so woman ka age uh, let the daughter's age be x and let the and the woman's age is x plus 29 so that you can solve it easily isn't it so let us solve it
सी आई हैव टेकन लेट्स द लेट द डॉटर्स एच बी एक्स एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू द गिविन स्टेटमेंट यू हैव द एज ऑफ वुमेन एज एक्स प्लस ट्वेंटी नाइन ओके सो अकॉर्डिंग टू कंडीशन द सम ऑफ दिस टू विल गिव यू सिक्सटी थ्री सो एज वी हैव सॉल्व इट वी गॉट एक्स इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटीन सो द एज ऑफ डॉक्टर इज सेवेंटीन ईयर्स एंड द एज ऑफ वुमेन इज इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस ट्वेंटी नाइन and that gives you 46 years so age of daughter is 17 years and age of woman is 46 years so uh, please see how the statements are written so uh, according to condition you have to write the statements properly and you have to form the equation also properly now let us move to question number 10 Now, question number ten says that in a class the number of boys are five less than the number of girls. Find the number of boys and girls in the class if there are total of thirty five students. So uh, here you again have to take the number of uh, girls. Let us take number of girls as x. and the number of boys are 5 less than the number of girls so the number of boys will be x minus 5 then we are going to again add that two numbers and we have to equate it with 35 so let us go to form the equation now see i have uh, done the question number 10 let the number of girls be x the number of boys according to the statement is 5 less than number of girls so you are going to write x minus 5 so according to condition the sum of these two numbers will give you 35 so x plus x is 2x minus 5 is 35 and as we solve this we are getting x is equal to 20 so what was x x was number of girls so it is 20 and number of boys was x minus 5 and that gives you 15 okay so with this we complete off with exercise 13.2 as well as we have completed with the chapter linear equation go through this chapter properly very easy it is and you can if you practice it you can make the equations well okay so practice it and try to uh, get the uh, equations thank you